So since it... <laughs> hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Morgan and I am a sixth grade math and science teacher and I also love all things Disney. And on today's video, we are going to be doing a pin tag. So let's go ahead and get into it. video we have a pin tag this was a February pin tag and um, I just didn't get around to filming it in February so we're gonna do it it's March 1st hopefully we'll have it out by March 3rd um, that's the goal so um, let's go ahead and get into this pin tag um, before I start I just want to say thank you so much to mouse and mermaid for making this pin tag she's also the one that tagged me in it it was a monthly pin tag series and so uh, February was the last month of it and she was nice enough to tag me. So I am so excited to be tagged. So let's go ahead and get into the questions. So this was a February pin tag. So it has a lot of February questions in with it as well. So our first one is your favorite pin you have gotten in February. And this is actually a preview to the character warehouse my character warehouse haul that is coming up um, in two weeks on haul Saturday. So make sure you stay tuned to that. But it is this flower and garden pin. It is a 2020 flower and garden pin. If you didn't know, flower and garden festival didn't really happen. But what I love the most about this pin is that, if I can get it open, is that when you open it, you have mini there and then it's like kind of also a like mirror reflective one but I love mini she's so cute and flower and garden festival didn't really get to happen this year because of COVID-19 so I'm really happy that I was able to pick that up at the character warehouse and it was only $3.99 what $3.99 for a and this is a limited edition of is this limited edition Sure. Yes, and this is a limited edition of 4000 So for a limited edition pin, $3.99, that is crazy. All right, Super Bowl Sunday is here. What is your favorite pin that shows a big win or was a big win for you? So for that pin, I have this Sully pin. I got this in an unboxing from the last time I went to Disney. I will leave that unboxing link down below as well. And it was a big win for me just because um, if you watch the unboxing, it was not the best unboxing. I didn't get a lot of the things that I really wanted to out of that unboxing. But he was the only one I wanted in the whole football pack. They're like different football teams. That's also why I picked it for this because it's like kind of Super Bowl-y because came, he came in the football pack. He was the only one I wanted out of the whole series and I got him. It was like one of the last pins or the first one that I picked out. So that was awesome. Uh, number three, Valentine's Day is on the 14th. What is your favorite love pin. So I chose for this and it's on a lanyard. It's a very old pin. So I don't want to take it off the lanyard and fear that it will never go back on. So um, it is on my lanyard from when I was little. This was one of my first ever pins and it is the Mickey and Minnie Mouse wedding pin. So it's that one right, this one right here. And it's just Mickey holding Minnie on their wedding day. So cute, and it is a sandback. This pin is from 2000 and 2005. So just so cute. I know they've done renditions of the pin again, but that's my original, so I just love it. It's actually one of like my first pins ever, so. Next up, Zodiac Pisces starts this month. What is your favorite Pisces inspired pin? So my favorite Pisces inspired pin is right here. And I did have to look this up because I wasn't sure which characters were Pisces. But apparently Baymax is a Pisces. So I chose Baymax. And this is my first ever Baymax pin that I got. I've since gotten a few more. But I just think he's so cute. He so looks so fluffy with his little lollipop. And it is kind of like a 3D effects almost like he kind of like bulges out so I just love this pin so much 
and um, it is from 2019. There's the back of the pen. It's just a single pen back. And he normally lives on the board above my head. I'm going to redo my pin boards and I'm eventually going to do a whole pin tour of my pins eventually when I get them all figured out. All right. Next one, as a gemstone of the month, as a gemstone of the month, show a pin that is inspired by amethyst. So amethyst, if you didn't know, it's like a, like a purpley color. So for that one, I picked Dante from Coco. He is one of my new favorite characters and I just love him. He's so cute. And in this pin, he is purple. So, um, and it kind of reminded me of amethyst and I actually don't have a lot of purple pins. So this was like kind of one of my only choices. So I picked him because I just thought he was so cute. All right. Next up, we have Groundhog's Day is February 2nd. Show us a pin that you want that you want more of, spring or winter. So for this one, I chose this Pooh and Piglet pin, and it kind of re reminds me of spring, more so summer, and that's what I want more of. I am tired of the snow and the cold. So I chose who and Piglet. And I did trade this at the parks. It's a little beat up on the back. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. It is a little beat up on the back. Whoever previously owned it um, didn't take very good care of it. But I still like the pin. I've been searching for that pin for a while when I got it. So I just, I just kept it. I didn't care. Chinese New Year is February 12th. Show us a pin that represents its cultural holiday. All right, so this is my only one for whatever reason. I think my sister has the baby version because I remember having the baby version of this one. But of course, it's on my original lanyard. So it's one of my original favorite princesses, which is Mulan. She's like my third or fourth, or was my third or fourth when I was little before Brave and Princess and the Frog. But it's just my Mulan pin and she's just so pretty. It's the only Mulan pin I currently own. And it's when she's like going to meet her matchmaker, but it, she's still like herself. And so I just love it. It's just a nice little silhouette pin. And again, I'm not taking it off the lanyard just because I don't know if they'll actually, if they come off, I don't know if they'll go back on. So, all right. Next up, Mardi Gras is February 16th. Show us a pin that represents this carnival celebration. So again, this is another pin. This is another little um, preview into the future um, for my pins that um, my giant pin haul from Walt Disney World that is coming in the next few weeks. And it is the 2021 Mardi Gras pin from Walt Disney World. And if you can tell these the feathers are kind of stained glass. And I was there the day this came out and I just love this pin. I thought what better way, there's no better way to represent Mardi Gras than with the Mardi Gras pin. So that's the, uh, that's the pin. It is a double pin back as you can see right there. And it is a limited edition of 3000. February 8th is National Kite Flying Day. So show us a Mary Poppin pin. I don't own any Mary Poppin pins. So I picked one that is similar to flying a kite. And I picked, and again, this is another preview into the future of a pin I got from the Character Warehouse. And it is a little poo pin on a little, um, on a balloon. And it says, Nobody, what does it say? Nobody can be unsheared with a balloon. And I love it. And I got it at the Character Warehouse. I think I got this one for $5.99, I want to say. And it is a limited edition, or it's a limited release for the anniversary of Winnie the Pooh. So, and it is a double pin back as well. So that's my Mary Poppins-esque pin. Um, and then
And then finally, National Retro Day is February 27th. Show us a vintage castle pin. Or show us a vintage pin. I wrote castle next to it, so I remembered which one I was using. So I had this pin that I got um, from an online uh, pin seller. And it's just, it reminds me, it looks retro to me because it's kind of like faded and drawn. And I just love it. So um, that's my... That's kind of my retro pins. I'm not really into retro pins. I have old pins, but like this is the most retro one I think I own. And so that's my, I'm trying to get it to focus. There it goes. And that's my, my retro pin. It's just a single pin back. Nothing special from 2019. So so that's the pin tag. Um, since it's the past February, I'm not going to be tagging anyone else. But if you want to play along for either next February or you want to kind of use this anyway just to use it, feel free. I will leave all the questions down below. And I will also leave Mouse and Mermaid's video up above and down below for you guys as well. Make sure you definitely go check her out. She is a big pin collector, has lots and lots of pins. Um, and if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And make sure you stay tuned for Haul Saturday. We have a big announcement coming up on my next Wednesday video. So stay tuned. And as always, have a magical day. Bye.